Hello and welcome to Myka Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss the differences between abstract class and interface. Though both are used to achieve abstraction in Java, but still there exists certain set of differences between the two that we are going to see in this tutorial. The very first difference between an abstract class and an interface is that an abstract class can have constructors which is not possible in case of interface. If you will try to declare a constructor in an interface, then it will give error. Basically, a constructor is in invoked implicitly whenever we create the instance of a class and we know that an interface cannot be instantiated, so this constructor cannot be called. So, we are not allowed to write a constructor inside an interface. Whereas, if there is an there is a constructor in an abstract class, then we know that abstract classes can be extended and whenever the constructor of subclass will get fired, it will implicitly execute the constructor of superclass. So, we can have constructor in abstract class, but we cannot have constructor in an interface. The second difference is that an abstract class can have instance initializer block which is not possible in case of interface. So we can have instance initializer block in an abstract class, but we cannot have so in case of an interface. Now the next difference is that an abstract class can have static block, which is not possible in case of interface. Here we can have static block in an abstract class, but we cannot have static block in an interface. Basically static block is used to initialize static members of that class. We know that in an interface by default all the data members are public static and final also. So they are initialized at the time of declaration itself. So static block is not required to initialize them. Therefore, we cannot have static block in an interface, whereas in an abstract class, we can have so. Now, the next difference is that in an abstract class, we can have static, final, non-static and non-final data members whereas in an interface we can have only static and final data members and hence mandatory to be initialized. That is in an abstract class we can have non-static, non-final fields, static fields and final fields but in case of an interface we can have only static and final fields so they are mandatory to be initialized at the time of declaration itself. Now, the next difference is all data members by default are public in an interface, whereas it is not so in case of abstract class. In an abstract class, we can give the access modifiers for the data members. We can give it as private, public, protected or it can be package private when we do not give any explicit access modifiers but in case of an interface even if we do not give any modifier explicitly all data members by default are public so we cannot have private or protected data members in an interface all data members by default will be public static and final next difference is that in an interface a concrete method which is permitted since Java 8 onwards must be given with either default or static or private keyword whereas it is not so in case of an abstract class. In an abstract class we can have both concrete and abstract methods. When we are giving concrete methods it's not mandatory to add a modifier like default or static. We can give it in a normal way but in case of an interface, whenever we have to write a concrete method, it should be given either with default keyword or static keyword. And from Java 9 onwards, private and private static methods are also permitted to be an interface. So a concrete method can be one of these type. Either it can be default or it can be static or it can be private or private static. But in an interface, we can write a concrete method without using any of these keywords as well. 
Now, the next difference between the two. In an interface, there can be public or private methods only. Whereas in an abstract class, we can have private, package private, that is when we do not give any modifier, protected and public methods. In an abstract class, we can give any accessibility for a method. But in an interface, when no accessibility is given, methods are public by default. That is for abstract method, it is public. For default and static also accessibility is public except when we give the private keyword this method will be private so for a method in an interface accessibility can be either public which is by default or it can be private which is given explicitly but in case of an abstract class we can have any access modifier for the methods Whereas we can use other modifiers also like final and synchronized also for methods but which is not allowed in case of an interface. We can run an abstract class if it has main method but we can't run an interface because they cannot have main method implementation. So we can have an abstract class which consists of main method but we cannot code main method inside an interface. So we have seen the differences between abstract class and interfaces. We can have constructors, instance initialization blocks and static blocks in an abstract class but we cannot have such things in a in an interface we can give data members as non-static non-final static and final in an abstract class but all the data members in an interface are public static and final no other specifiers like transient or volatile can be used for data members in an interface but they can be used with the data members in an abstract class and then we have seen the difference between the accessibility of the methods in an interface methods accessibility can be either public or private we cannot give protected over there but in case of abstract class any type of access modifier can be given and then we have seen that we can have main method as well in an abstract class but we cannot have so in an interface so now as per our requirement we can use either abstract class or interface for achieving abstraction thank you for watching this tutorial please subscribe the channel for more updates